praise the Lord for his grace and for his goodness. Amen. What a joy to finish in the house of the Lord and to start a new year in the house of the Lord. Amen. Dear children and teenagers, we love you so much that we have a short few minutes, minutes exhortation for you in English, language you understand better. We heard from Genesis, we heard from John chapter 1. In the beginning God created. In the beginning was the word. What shall be said about us? In the beginning of 2021, the church in Kenmore started to study the word of God. All together. And we cannot emphasize this too much. That we should go and open up the scripture. 15 minutes out of 24 hours a day is not too much. No excuse. Please, in Jesus' name, for the blessing of your soul, read four or five chapters a day. Amen? Amen. All of us, for 10. My son is 10 years old. He already finished the New Testament. He's reading the Old Testament He's today in Isaiah. There's a 12-year-old, Josiah Kapushan. Why shouldn't we name names of those who do the right thing? He already read the Bible. So even those in Sunday school, we encourage them. Just as John the Baptist was confessing, was bearing witness about the light, the same I want to do tonight as John the Baptist. I want to talk to you a little bit about this light. Just as Psalmist in 119 verse 105 says that your word is a lamp unto my, to my feet and the light unto my path. And in Proverbs 6, 23, it says, for the commandment is a lamp and the law a light. Reproofs of instructions are the way of life. And we find them all in the word of God. Amen. The word of God is the light that we have, is Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit delights in speaking to us and give us, giving us Guidance and wisdom giving us light when we open the scriptures to study the word of God. As a parent, we encourage our children and we may promise them something, even though we ask them questions, what did you read? But the benefit I can promise to you, there's going to be a reward, a great reward for every one of us. That go, Even though I studied the scripture, I read it many times, I'll go it again. Even though I have other books in the Bible to study more deeper, but... I started again with you, so let's all go through the Bible this year. And if you're going to be alive, God's willing, in December, it means that you already went through the Bible, because just as you live in the physical body, we also need spiritual food for our soul. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus calls it our daily bread, not just weekly, not monthly. We need bread every day. Give it to us today, Jesus said, not just for the whole year, for the whole month. He calls it daily bread, and we ask it in a prayer today. So let's feed ourselves with the word of God every day. Amen. This shows how we love God Almighty. We open his letter of love to us, and we get to know him. This is how we prove our love to him. He is the true light that gives light to everyone who comes into the world. And through this, we show that we love him. We get to know him because there is a sad verse in John chapter 3, verse 19. He's talking about the condemnation of those who do not believe in the Son of God. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and the man loved the darkness rather than light. Isn't this a sad verse? People are living in darkness. When the light came, they should have been so full of joy and so thirsty and so grateful to the Lord because he brought light into the darkness. But it's a very sad verse. Once the light came in, people decided to love darkness more than light. And Romania says, Darkness more than light, as if they love the light a little bit. No, in English sounds better. They love the darkness rather than light. Why did they do with the, what did they do with the light? Because they, 
their deeds were evil. So everyone who practices evil hates light. You cannot love two masters. You want to love one and despise or hate the other. It's the same here. We whether love the light or we hate it. So we want to study the, study the scriptures. We want to show the Lord that we love him. We are hungry for him. Oftentimes, you see, even physically, if you neglect your body and don't eat right on time, and healthy food, because the healthiest is right here, the most study book in the world, the was, is, and it will be, is the scripture. And please study it for yourself. If we ignore our body, we can see the results, we're going to get sick, and we think somehow that spiritually it works, it's fine. I can go weeks without reading the word of God. You don't live, you die. Jesus says the man does not live by bread alone. A man which is body and spirit needs to be fed with the physical food and also with the spiritual food. Amen. Amen. We have an example in the scripture. I like this. Ezra, Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. Look what this man did. Israel had prepared his heart to seek the Lord of the Lord, the law of the Lord. Prepared his heart to seek and to do it and to teach the statutes, statutes and the ordinance in Israel. We prepare our hearts to seek, to know, get to know the Lord. We do what we learn from the scriptures. This is the perfect word right here. And then we tell others. May the Lord bless us. It's going to be, this is the, the wonderful word which we, we can learn from Ezra. Um, as a church, as we do this, and I'm going to close. Acts 9.31. As the whole church will start to do this. I pray that this church this year will find itself in verse 31, Acts chapter 9. Just as the churches throughout all Judea and Gal Galilee and Samaria had peace and were edifying, let us live in love, unity, and peace and edify ourselves as we worship the Lord in prayer and songs and listening of the word of God. We edify, we grow, and we walk in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, they were multiplied. Și cu ajutorul Duhului Sfânt se mulțeau. Noi cam fraza aceasta ne aduceți mă aminte. We just remember this phrase. But look at the whole church in which the Holy Spirit has the pleasure to work and multiply. Hallelujah. Live in peace. We edify ourselves. We grow. We walk in the fear of the Lord. And how do we know? You will wonder how many people they do what they do because they do not know the Lord. We open the scriptures, we read them carefully, prayerfully, we get to know God Almighty with the seriousness which the scripture is to be taken. We get to know him, and that leads us to walk in the fear of God. That's a wise man and woman which walks in the fear of God. They, get, they know him. When you see a God-fearing man or woman, they know God. So we get to know him, we walk in the fear of the Lord. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, this church, in the starting doing this from the beginning and all the way until the, through the end, throughout the 2021, let it grow with the help of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless us and may the Lord help us to stay strong and we start in such a way that we may finish it well. Amen. May the Lord bless you.